Okay, good morning. It is Tuesday. So, first things first, let's do weigh-in. So, I weighed in this morning. Um, I don't even know what time it was. Uh, it was early, though. And um, I am down. I am down this week. Not as much as I would have hoped to have been down this week, but I am down. 1.2 pounds. So I will take it and run. So um, I guess it is what it is. I had a superb week. Um, I had a very good week, actually. I had a bad weekend. Not Saturday, but Sunday was bad. Um, <clears throat> it was my brother-in-law's birthday. And... Uh, I, I I was so determined to go in to this birthday of his and do it real well, which um, <clears throat> I didn't do bad. It was the cake. I had cake and they had key lime pie. So I had a piece of both. And that's what set me over the edge. I'm trying to put some stuff away in my purse here. Um, so I have to sneeze. <laughs> so that's what set me over the edge was the cake and the pie. Um, did I need to have both? No, I did not. Did I? Yeah, I did. Um, because I was hungry. I ate breakfast. Um, this is my garbage bag for right now. I ate breakfast. I, I actually made a big breakfast and then... Uh, I ate a big breakfast and then I didn't have anything until, uh, party time, which ended up being after 530. So from nine to 530, I had nothing to eat. And so I was so hungry. So that's what happened. But old me would have been like, eh, it's a party. Don't worry about it. Um, but new me was like, nope. We are going to uh, account for this. And we're going to do it. We're going to put it in. And that's what I did. So it is what it is. Um, But I, yesterday, so that was Sunday. Let me, I'll tell you how my weekend went. Because I can't remember what day I last was on here. Because I uh, was really, I keep thinking, oh, I'm not going to be busy. I'm not going to be busy. And then I end up being busy. And it's kind of annoying. But um, I don't even know what I did last week, to be honest with you. It was, um, um, let's watch this. Let me sign up. What is this? Okay. I work, so I worked Friday. I went in at two. My, so every Friday now I have to bread the fish because they have nobody to do that. So I've been going in and breading the fish every Friday which is fine. Um, okay. That has to go with me later. Uh, I guess I'll keep the envelope. So I go in, I bread the fish. Um, if I don't have to work, I'll go in in the morning and do it. But if I have to work, I just wait till I have to go in to do it. So I, I waited till I had to go in because I had to fry for my sister because she... She was at a golf outing. She doesn't golf, but she was at the golf outing. So, um, so I did, I went in at two, breaded the fish, got everything else going. Um, and then I was the fryer for the night. So I fried or the cook or the fryer, whatever, because I do other things other than frying. So I did that. Um, just watching my dog that he doesn't, I have my sneakers over there and he has a tendency to 
start chewing on them. So I'm just watching him so he doesn't do that. Um, so anyway, I worked and then once the dinners were done at seven, <clears throat> we do the bowlers. You, you get out of here. Come on out. There's nothing back there. And so we did the bowlers. Um, my one sister and I stayed to do them. So we got them all taken care of. So I never got home or out of there to quarter after 10 and then home. So <clears throat> it was a very long day. Oh my gosh. But I made very good money. So that was good. Um, so that was my Friday. And then Saturday, my plan was to just, uh, I had so much stuff I wanted to do here. Out of there. Come on, out. Out of there. Get out. So this was my list for Saturday. I wanted to make an elderberry pie. I had to make two pie crusts, English muffins, bagels, get our sauerkraut going in our crock um, for fermenting, pigs in the blanket, do up our tomatoes, do up the peppers we had, and make egg bites. So of all that, I did everything but the bagels, tomatoes, and egg bites. So I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Because I, um, I really wanted to get a lot of stuff done uh, because I, I just had a ton on my list to do. So um, a friend of mine a couple weeks ago when we were shucking our elderberries, she said, do you make pies? I said, yes. And she said, oh my gosh, would you make me a pie for my dad? And I said, oh my gosh, of course I would. That would be no problem. So she's like, I'll pay you. I'm like, you don't need to pay me. So... I made her, so I finally got that made. I wanted to get it done Saturday, so I got that made. So she came and picked it up on Sunday, and uh, she told me her dad has brain cancer and stuff, so I, I felt so bad for her. Um, but she's like, oh my gosh, he will love this. So, uh, so I was so glad I did it. Um, uh, so I did that, and then... Um, the two pie crusts were for, for my, my brother-in-law, Rob. He His 60th birthday is actually tom tomorrow. It's 9-11. Um, but I... Uh, so his sister wanted to have... Um, he likes uh, pudding pie. Chocolate pudding pie. I guess his mom always made that for him for his birthday. Well, their mom's been gone for a long time. And so his sister, he's never really had like a birthday party. So uh, she's like, could you make two pie crusts and I'll make the filling and blah, blah, blah. It ended up I made the whole thing. So I'm like, well, it's dumb for me to bring pie crust down and you make the filling. I'll just do it all. So I did it all and it, it came out really nice. Um, so... That worked out nice. Um, and then the English muffins, because we were down to zero. <clears throat> and that's what Roman takes every day for breakfast. He has an English muffin, a turkey sausage patty, and a piece of cheese. And, of course, I heated up for him and that. And so, what did I do? Okay. So, <clears throat> I made him that. Uh, so, I made a whole bunch of English muffins. And, um, what else did I do? <clears throat> the English muffins, uh, I ended up doing like very last. Um, and it worked out perfect because <clears throat> while they were rising, we, I, I made dinner and we ate dinner while they were rising. So that worked out perfect. Um, and then what else did we do? My sauerkraut. So we chopped it shredded it all up got it in our crock you we do like a head at a time and then we um we have a big like tamper and we tamp it down in this crock we have i don't know it's like a 25 gallon crock it's huge and so we got beautiful beautiful heads of lettuce out of our heads of lettuce heads of cabbage out of our garden this year um we used all but two well, he picked all, he, he picked out, he left three in the garden still. Cause we, we like to make, um, capusta for Thanksgiving. 
That is the Polish sweet and sour cabbage. So um, we make that at Thanksgiving. So we try to keep it in the garden as long as possible. So he kept three heads in the garden. So everything he picked, which I think was like 12 heads, we used all but two because they were humongous. And um, I'll, he sent me a picture. I'll, if I remember, I'll insert a picture of them. Um, so I used one and I made some pigs in the blanket and froze them. I got enough for four meals um, out of one head of cabbage. <laughs> so um, I did those on Saturday. I made up the meat mixture and all that. And then we had enough peppers. I did another round of stuffed peppers as well. So, and then the rest of the peppers I had, I just chopped up and froze. So, um, I got pigs made, I got stuffed peppers made, chopped up the rest, got our sauerkraut going. So that's in the crock. So that, that'll ferment for a while. And then once it's good and fermented, then we will, uh, can it. So, uh, so I did that. Um, so we got, we just got a ton of stuff done because why? We had nowhere to go and nowhere to be and nothing to do on Saturday, which is my favorite thing. So I just spent all day in the kitchen and it was, it was beautiful. I loved it. And I said to my husband, it could be like this every weekend, you know, we can get things done. So, um, anyway, that just made me happy. Um, and then Roman is not working today. He's got, or he is working today. He has, um, they don't have play practice today, so he's going to work. Um, so anyway, I have make buns on my list for this week, and I'm trying to think why. I don't need any buns for anything. I'm not sure why I have that on my list. I'm a, oh, I know, because I was gonna make we were gonna have hamburgers tonight, but we are not. Because Tuesday night I work and Roman comes down and meets me and he helps. So I don't need to make buns this week because we're not having hamburgers. So, um, oh my gosh, I am so exhausted from this weekend and from yesterday. It was just, so all day Saturday I worked in my house, in my kitchen and stuff. And then Sunday I got up early. I made breakfast for everybody. Um, and then, cause I love, since our mass is not until 1030, I love making uh, breakfast on Sunday mornings. So, um, so that's what I did. And then we went to church and then after church, Roman went and picked my mom up and took her to the store because she had to get uh, a couple prescriptions and do a little bit of shopping. And then Ray, Ray and I went to Sam's Club to pick up the birthday cake. And then uh, we came home. I was just home for a little bit. And then I went down because the party was at the club. So I went down there and I helped the girl get all the food ready. And then uh, once we then we had the party, which was so nice and he he was so um he was so surprised he had no idea so that was nice um and then after the party we cleaned up and then it came home and then yesterday I took my mom to Pittsburgh so I have a lot of good news in this video as well so I took my mom to Pittsburgh we her appointment was supposed to be 11 o'clock for one thing and one o'clock for the other. Well, we get there and they had changed it. It was one o'clock for one thing and two o'clock for the other. So we were there like two and a half hours early. And I'm like, that's fine. We went and sat in the cafeteria. Um, I actually did not have breakfast yesterday because I was running late and I wanted to get her on time because we thought we were running late. And um, so I ended up I, all I, I grabbed a granola bar and had a granola bar and that was it. So we actually had a little something to eat and I did attract it and everything. I had a real good day yesterday. Um, so we had a little something to eat in the cafeteria. I just had a little sandwich and then, uh, I don't know why my nose is running. And then we had, um, so we waited in the cafeteria for a while. <laughs> and then when it was time, we went up, I had her in a wheelchair. She walked, uh, 
she actually walked from the car to the registration area, which was a long way. It was very long way. So that was really good. I thought it was, you know, she's walking real good. She walks faster than me. So uh, we got to the registration area and then we had to go down this really long hallway. So the girl's like, do you want me to get a wheelchair? My mom's like, that would be great. So she went and got my mom a wheelchair. So then I wheeled her down and that's when they told us, oh, did you not get called? Your appointment was changed to one o'clock. My mom's like, no, I did not. So we just, like I said, we went to the cafeteria and um, just did that. So uh, then it was time. She had an echo, a sonogram of the heart. So they did that. Um, that was about 45 minutes long. And then once that was done, then we went down the hall to the doctor's office and um, we didn't wait long anywhere we went um, for either appointment. She got in right on time for both. And so um, first we had the physician's assistant and she, you know, was asking my mom all kinds of stuff. And uh, she's like, you are pretty much free. You are, there's, you know, you're good. And then the doctor came in and he said, just looked over the echo. It's perfect. He's like, you are in real good shape. First of all, he said to her, wow, you look great. And I was like, I, she does. She looks real good. She lost a lot of weight, but she kind of needed to. And that was fine, you know, but, um, yeah, she, she does look really good. And, uh, so he said, she's, we don't have to go to Pittsburgh anymore. She's released. Um, she has a heart doctor up here now. We saw him already once. She doesn't have to go back to him for six months. And it's really just for checkups because there's nothing really they, uh, unless something would terribly go wrong, there's nothing they need to do. So, um, so she's good. She is totally good. So Pittsburgh released her. She can drive. She can do everything. She has zero restrictions at all. So that's good. She does. She is going to do some, uh, cardio, cardio cardiotherapy it starts Wednesday I take her tomorrow and then it'll be Tuesdays and Thursdays but she'll have her car back by next week so she said my son can use it this week and I said well I want him to get it back to you because you're able to drive now and so but she's not one that just takes off and goes anywhere either she's she pretty much stays home a lot so but I want her to have it in case she wants to go somewhere and we're working on his car getting it and I told him we will, you know, I said, if I don't have to go anywhere, you can take my car. So, um, so that's what we're, that's where we're at with my mom. So she is good. Everything is done. Um, she said she only has, um, two appointments in November and that's it for the rest of the year. And I'm like, well, the first nine months was a lot. So, uh, so it's good. Everything is so good there. I'm so happy about that. And then, uh, what else do we have? Uh, what else? Um, she, so, so on the way home, then I knew she was kind of hungry. Uh, cause she's like, do you want to stop in grocery city and get something to eat? Cause it was about three, it would be, it was like three 30 by the time we stopped. And we had, we had eaten when we ate in the cafeteria, it was between 10 30 and 11. So it had been like five hours. So I'm like, yeah, I said, if you want to stop, but we ended up stopping at a Hoss's, which was perfect because I just got the salad bar. <laughs> so, uh, I did real good there. And then that's it. That's all I ate the rest of the day. So I did real good yesterday. Um, I did not go over points yesterday. Um, I went over points on Sunday though. Uh, Saturday I did real good. I, I, S Sunday was just my bad day. That was it. So, but, so I probably would have lost more if it wasn't for the sweets on Sunday and stuff, but oh well, I'm still doing good. I'm still tracking everything. And that's the thing. I put everything in my tracker and it went over and I was like, <gasps> I saw that negative and it was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I've ever seen that, but I was honest and that's, that's what counts. I need to be honest. And I'm going to tell you something that has really kind of motivated me about right now trying to lose weight and it's always been my goal to lose weight and I, I like 
you all know I was doing so well till COVID hit and then I just lost, I lost my whole, I lost everything. And it's been a struggle to get back to there, but I have been motivated lately and it's because, and you might all think this is stupid, but I am so sick of everyone I know being on weight loss drugs to lose weight and they're looking good. And I'm like, okay, but I'm at a party with them on Sunday and here's what I ate at the party. There was, I'll tell you what there was. There was um, salad, there's rigatoni, meatballs, walking tacos, and um, thinly, real thin sliced Italian bread. So I was like, I know exactly what I'm eating. I had one small scoop of rigatoni, not even a cup full, I know, but I mean, I didn't measure it, but I knew, I, first of all, the spoons she had in there were real small. So you only got like a little bit. And I took a little bit of rigatoni and I took one meatball and I took two, they were very thin slices of, uh, and by thin, I mean like really thin, um, like maybe as thin as this pieces of Italian bread. And that's what I ate. That was the food I ate. Then of course I had cake. And I had a piece of pie. <laughs> but that was all I ate food-wise. Drank water the whole time I was there. I always drink water. I am, um, every once in a while, like, especially like being down at the club, I always get a taste for like, oh, I could have, I could go for a pop. Like I don't drink dark pop. If I drink a pop, it's a Sprite or something like, you know, Sprite or 7-Up or whatever. It's always a light, you know, one of those. But I've been so good in my mind of, nope, you don't need it. Just drink your water. Just drink your water. And so I've been drinking my water and I've been doing so good with, I, I always drink water. That's, that's never a problem for me, but I need to drink more. And so, um, I, I, you know, I could have got a drink. I could have got a fun drink and, and celebrated and stuff, but I didn't, I stuck to my water. Um, and I'm not, I'm not a sweet person but oh my gosh the cake looks so good the pie looks so good somebody brought a key lime pie it's not his favorite I if somebody just brought one and uh so that's why and and to be honest nobody was eating it and I was like well I had a piece of one last week somebody brought one last week too and it was so good and I thought I'll have a piece because <laughs> I just I feel, you know how you feel bad oh there was a veggie tray too um there was some hors d'oeuvres there was veggies some cheese, um, pepperoni, but so I did have some veggies. I had some carrots and cauliflower. Um, but that was it as far as that goes. Um, I did not eat anything else on there. Somebody brought like a fruit salad, but it was in, uh, it had a, I know I ate cake and I'm not going to eat a fruit salad because it had a, a syrup in it. <laughs> but anyway, I was like, no, I'm going to skip that. Cause it, I, she had a, glaze on it or whatever you want to call it. She made a simple syrup for it. And so I was like, no, I'll skip that. <laughs> Cause I'm having cake. But anyway, um, I did really, so I have family members and I have friends that are on this, uh, they're either doing the shot or they're doing the pill and it's all different stuff. And there's several of them. So I'm trying to watch what I eat. I'm trying to be, you know, very mindful. And so I'm like, nope, I'm just going to take a small scoop of rigatoni. I'm going to have one meatball and I'm going to have two little slices of that bread. And that should be good enough for me. Because in the morning I had two sausage links, eggs, and a scoop of potatoes. Um, I fried up some uh, potato slices. So that's what I had for breakfast. So that, and then that's what I had for dinner. And I'm watching these people around me that are on weight loss supplements or shots and, and their plates are loaded. They're drinking sugary drinks like pops and mixed drinks. And, and I'm like, like they're not, and I've been around them enough because they're family members and stuff. They're not changing their, so to me, this is a lifestyle change. And this is like, um, what I'm doing here at home, you know, like we had pigs in the blanket last night and I had dinner set and I could have come home and eaten, but my mom wanted to stop. So I thought, okay, this is, 
gonna derail all my plans because I had it I already had it in my tracker my pigs in the blanket and stuff because I know how many points they are because I make them homemade and put them in the tracker and so I thought okay well she wanted to go to Haas's so I'm like okay well that's fine because I'm just gonna get salad bar so I did I had lettuce I had some chickpeas I had a, one little scoop of shredded cheese on my salad um I had a little bit of black olives um, what else did I put on there? Let me think. There's something else I had. Oh, cucumbers, tomatoes, and then I had my red wine vinegar dressing and a little, um, a couple little, um, shakes of olive oil. And that was my, that's what I had. So it ended up being a much lower point dinner and I ended up with points left last night. Um, but at home I'm making things and I'm, you know, I'm trying to be like old me would have packaged like nine or 10 glumpki in a pack for a dinner for us, for three of us. New me packs six, everybody gets two <laughs> and that's it. So the boys each ate two and then uh, there's two left because I didn't eat mine. So Ray's going to have those tonight for dinner. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to put less food out. I, is that making sense? Like I'm not, I, like I cook a lot, but I'm not, but I'm packaging different. I'm not packaging a lot because Ray could, Ray and Roma both could have easily had a whole nother one last night, but you know, Ray's like, well, how many are left? Because I said, if you want more, there's more. And he's like, well, how many are left? I said, two. He goes, well, I'll save those for tomorrow night. So I'm like, okay, good. So I'm trying to get them, like, you know, we're not eating like a whole, like our portions are not, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? Are you getting what I'm, where I'm going? So I'm watching our portions. I'm watching what we're eating and, and how I'm making it. And, um, like I'm using the better ground beef. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to use the better stuff and then I'm sitting there Sunday night and I'm looking around at the people I know because the one girl is my niece and um she was real heavy and you can see the weights dropping off of her but she's not changing anything she's not changing the way she eats I feel like if you're gonna do this it has to be a lifestyle change so now I'm a little bit motivated to try to lose the weight myself and make this lifestyle change and, and keep it that way so that, you know, I, cause I can take all the pills I want, but if I don't change the way I'm eating and if I don't change my portions to being smaller, I, I, I it's not going to make any sense. And I just like, and there's, there's other people, my one sister's doing it too. And she ate a lot, you know, and she's not, she's not heavy. I'm the heaviest, but then I have a couple other sisters that are heavy too. And my niece was real heavy, um, but she's solid, like from head to toe, like her legs, like are huge and like, but she eats terrible. She, she eats terrible and she still is. And, and she's drinking Mountain Dew. And I'm like, okay, um, this is supposed to be a lifestyle change. So I, I feel, this is how I feel. I feel if she keeps eating the way she's eating and she's taking the supplement to lose weight and she's losing the weight, but she's still eating the way she's eating, eventually it's gonna go like this, I feel, and she's not gonna end up, she'll get to a plateau and be it. And what did that teach her? It taught her nothing. It's not teaching her to eat better. Um, it's not, you know, do you under, do, I just, I'm so much more observant of what people are doing. I usually never pay attention to people, what they're eating, what they're doing. But now that I'm like trying to do this and I see, and I know and have so many family and friends taking the pills and the shots and all that, I feel I'm, I'm now I'm like paying more attention and I'm like, okay. Um, I, I just like, I saw, I actually have a picture of her plate cause I was taking pictures of people. Um, and, uh, she's in the one picture I saw 
uh, and I saw her plate and I, and, and I, that's, and that's what kind of sparked me to begin with. Well, what sparked me was a week ago <laughs> when we were together and I, and, and she's like, not, uh, I don't know. She's just drinking, she's drinking those sugary, terrible pops for you. And, um, she's not changing the way she's eating and that she's totally defeating. I feel she's defeating the purpose. And I feel like, I feel if people are going to go on these pills or take the shots and stuff, you should have to go to some sort of not therapy, but you should have to see like a dietitian or a nutritionist or somebody to like help you understand that while taking the pill is one, one way to solve it you're not, I don't think you'll be on this pill the rest of your life. So I, I just feel like you, you should have some sort of training on how to eat. You know what I mean? And so I'm just looking around and like my sister's plate was full and she was drinking beer all night. And then I was looking at my niece and, uh, I, I what, like I wasn't paying attention, but then I saw in the picture, I have a, I took a picture, a family picture of the table and and in it, you can see her plate. And I'm like, okay, her plate is full and full of food. And, and then she's got her pop and, and she has more than one pop there. And, and, and I'm just like, so it has motivated me in a lot of ways to be like, okay, I can do this. I can do this on my own. I don't need a pill. I don't need a shot. I can look around and see, okay. That's not how you should be eating. Um, you should be eating much less. You should eating be eating better. I mean, there was salad there, um, but it was just let. It was just lettuce. There was nothing, you know, nothing more than just lettuce. And I thought I I didn't want to have. I just didn't want to have the lettuce there. Um, there's reasons. <laughs> so I was like, mm. so that's why I did not have salad but you know I do have usually have a salad a day but I I feel very motivated to do this because I'm seeing people that are I don't want to say cheating but like if you're gonna do this and if you're gonna take that pill if you're gonna take that shot it's still ha you still have to do it within you you still have to be you know you still have to make that lifestyle change that life altering change so that when when you get off of that you're not going to be like like gain it all back because I can see that happening with everybody I know in my small circle of people the people I know that are taking this pill right now I'm like or the shot my sister does the shot I'm just looking I think what's going to happen when you stop doing that and then the other thing I worry about is there's a lot of stuff out there about how the side effects are affecting people and how some people are having problems with their brain function because some of these medications are messing with your brain and that. And, and so I think like, I don't, I don't want that. Of course, I would love to lose a lot of weight. I love to be thin. I last time I was thin was probably like eighth grade. I don't know. Um, but I just can't, I cannot, I don't want to take a pill. I don't want to take the shot. I want to do this myself. I want to be successful on my own. I don't want to say, well, you know, I was on, like my niece tells everybody, well, I'm taking the pill to lose weight. I don't want to do that. I, I want to be, I did it. I've changed what I'm doing and I'm successful. I can be successful. I And, and in my life, in general, I'm pretty successful at a lot of things I do, even though I'm just a homemaker and stuff. I do a lot of stuff outside the home and I'm pretty darn successful at stuff. And I think I'm successful with everything but myself. <laughs> and that's what I need to change. So I feel pretty good about my week, even though I ended it with some bad stuff. But, you know, it's it's not every day I'll have a birthday party where we have cake. Um Matter of fact, that's the last birthday party for a while. My mom turns 80 in October, but I'm sure we'll have something at her house, but it'll, it'll be all right. I can, I can handle myself better. I, I felt, I don't know. I, 
I'm a stress eater. So that's one thing I have to watch because I do stress eat and I don't want to, you know, so I got it. I keep reminding myself about stuff like, um, like I love tacos in a bag. Oh my gosh. It's the greatest thing ever invented. And I restrained from having that on Sunday. I did not have that. Um, I just thought, nope, you know what? I'm not going to do that. And then later I thought, oh, I probably could have made myself a taco salad. But instead of having the rigatoni and the one meatball, but I was like, and, and I will tell you my piece of cake, I did not finish my piece of cake. Um, it had a lot of frosting on it. It was a circle cake. So, you know, the whole backside was loaded with frosting. I didn't finish the cake or that whole, I didn't eat any of that back frosting because I, I was like, mm, this is getting a little bit too much, you know, the cake. So I, I actually did not have hardly any of the frosting, but I ate the cake part. Um, I did leave a little, uh, but it was, I think it's like key lime pie. <laughs> And it was a small piece. It was. It was just a sliver of a piece, but it was good. But anyway, and then traveling yesterday, that's um, like I couldn't get all my water in yesterday because when I'm driving and traveling, um, you know, I don't want to stop. And it's about a two and a half hour ride because we have to go in the, all the way into downtown Pittsburgh. Um, there's a lot of outlying areas you can go to in Pittsburgh. It only takes you about an hour and a half to two. But we have to go all the way into downtown Pittsburgh. So uh, it's about a two and a half hour drive. And I'm like, I don't want to stop. I just want to get there, do it and get home. And so I did not drink very much yesterday water wise. So I know that may have been a problem too. But like I said, I still lost 1.2. And I'm, I'm happy if I lose one pound a week. As long as it's going down and not up, I'm happy. Um, so I felt... I feel this is a really good start for me. Um, this is my first week back on Weight Watchers. I tracked every single day. I tracked every single thing. Um, kept track of my water. Um, so I am, uh, I asked Sandy if she'd be an accountability partner with me because everyone else I follow anymore doesn't do weight loss. And it's kind of a bummer to me because that's why I started following people to begin with because they were so successful and I thought I could, I could do that but now they've gone in different directions and they don't really do weight loss and um so I, I've been kind of like struggling with that because I'm like okay I loved watching their videos on what they ate and, and got the points and um but a lot of them don't do it anymore and I mean, it's fine. They've reached their goal. So they have nothing else to work towards when it comes to that, except for just maintaining. And um, obviously they must know how to do that because they don't track anymore. And that's fine. Um, but I'm, and I've been searching and searching on the internet for like other weight loss people. And I, I can't really find anybody that I click with that I feel like I can relate to. So, um, I just said to Sandy, I'm like, will you be my accountability partner? Can I send you stuff if I, you know, can we compare notes? Can we, you know, whatever. And she said, absolutely. So, uh, I'm, I'm motivated about that too, because, um, I just needed, my dog must be dreaming. Um, I need that. I need that, you know, that, that support too from the, my YouTube people. So, um, I feel, I know I can do this. I know I can. I was so there doing so well before, so I'm going to do it again. And, um, it's funny cause when I'm wherever I'm at and I'm doing stuff in my head, I'm always like, okay, should you have that or should you not have that? You know, like yesterday morning, picking something out to eat in the hospital cafeteria, I'm like, okay, well, I could have that, but that would probably end up being a lot more points than I need right now. I just needed something little to tide me over. And that's, I'm starting to feel that way too. I don't need to eat like a lot, like I, like I usually do. I'm like, I just need enough to keep, to satisfy me, to keep me going. You know, I did extremely well Friday at the club. I'm trying not to eat anything down there because, um, 
you know, everything's deep fried or fried on a griddle. And so, um, and they use like that liquid butter stuff. I cannot stand that stuff. Um, and I make all this fried food and in a way that's helping me with, with my journey. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, these are like heart attacks waiting to happen. All these wings people eat and stuff. So I am um, trying to think, what did I eat Friday? Friday I had my regular breakfast. I had my English muffin, sausage, egg, and cheese, um, which is nine points, which is what I'll have this morning. And then, um, what else? What did I have for lunch? I think I fixed myself my salad, had my salad, then I went down there. Um, oh, I took with me. I was trying to think, what did I do? I did not have my salad for lunch. I had a cup of my pasta fishole that I made last week because that was the soup of the week. Um, so I, I had a cup of that because I thought that'll be more substantial than my salad. And then I took with me yogurt. Um, yogurt, what else did I have in there? Let me think. <laughs> yogurt what else did i grab i grabbed something else that was decent to take with me and i ate it oh my gosh what did i have why can't i think what i took with me i know i had my yogurt what did i eat i did so much food that night i just it was a blur i had to eat in a hurry too because I cannot remember. I'll have to look at my tracker. But I took I took stuff with me. And I ate it. And then... Uh, oh! I took... That's when I took my pasta fishole. I'm like, wait a minute. I know it. So I had my salad at home for lunch. And I had my chicken in it. And um, then I took the pasta fishole. Because I'm like, I heated something. I heated something. I had, I had that at dinner. Yes, my soup was at, at dinner, my salad was at lunch, and then my breakfast sandwich. So, I and that's all I had. I had the yogurt, I had, it was one cup, I did measure it and took it in my soup thing, which I need to find more of those. Because the one I have is, cra not cracked, but a chip is out of it. Um, I love those soup cups that I can microwave with the lid on. Um, I use it every day for Roman's lunch. Um, but I'd like to get another one of those. I got, well, I got one from Weight Watchers, but it broke. The handle came right off. Um, but anyway, I took my food and, um, that was like, I, that was perfect for me. And it was just enough to, you know, get me through. And then, and, and I was not hungry. I didn't feel like I needed to eat anything down there. So when we were done, we came home and I didn't eat anything when I came home. I... So I'm finding that as long as I just eat enough to satisfy myself, I don't need to eat a lot. And I know that's probably like a stupid thing to figure out at 56 years old, but I'm just being more like mindful of what I'm doing and I'm, and I'm trying to watch everything I do. So, uh, so gosh, this is going to be a long video today, but I have so many good things to tell you. So um, I got a phone call Friday and I didn't answer it. Uh, cause I thought, mm, I don't know. I just let it go to voicemail. So he left me a voicemail. So then I checked my voicemail and then I called my husband up and then we talked over the weekend and I think we're getting our house sighted. I have been wanting, so I've always lived in a white house when I was four years, well, when I was born till four years old, I lived in a brick house. And then my parents bought a house. Uh, we lived in a flat. We were on the upstairs. My parents bought a house. And it was a white house. My mom still lives in that house. And it's still white. <laughs> so I've always lived in a white house. And uh, so we bought our house. Our house is white. And the summer of COVID, when we had nothing to do, which will always, always, always be my favorite summer, um, we painted, like, our front door. We painted our shutters. Um, we, we just did all kinds of fun stuff around our house. And I painted them fun colors. My shutters are teal. My door is yellow. Um, so we did stuff like that. And, um, so 
I've been saving for a while, a long while, um, because my my dream has always been to get this house side because it still has aluminum siding. It's old, and underneath is wooden siding because our house was built in 1950s, and so my dream has been to get colored vinyl siding because we I've always lived basically in a white house. But things have come up over the years. Like before we had Roman, um, we, we, after we had bought the house and stuff, we, we put new windows in. So, you know, we, we took a big chunk of our savings and bought new windows. So the windows were all good. Um, and then we saved up again. And when it was time, we got a new roof put on. And then after, not long after the roof, we had our, our garage and our whole driveway and a couple pieces of sidewalk all re-cemented. Um, that took up a huge chunk of our savings, like almost all of our savings. But at that point in time, we were not getting pregnant. We we were saving and we just, we felt like we're, we were married like five or six years by this point. We were like, okay, this might not happen. We might not be having a child. So let's get some stuff fixed up around here while we have the money and stuff. So we did. And, um, and then the next thing was to get siding and stuff. So we started, you know, restarted our savings and, um, and then at this point I wasn't working anymore because, uh, yeah, I wasn't working cause I had quit working to help take care of my dad that got sick and, we thought we'd be pregnant at any time and that never happened. So, um, so anyway, so we started saving again because the next thing was going to be our house getting sighted. Well, uh, like a year or two later, that's when I ended up getting pregnant. And then we had Roman, of course. And then, you know, your savings goes right out the window when you have a child. So, so, you know, the, the siding never got done. Well, a couple years ago, ever since we had gotten our new roof, like 20 some years ago, um, our back room has always leaked and my husband has ripped that roof off, redone it, ripped it off, redone it two times and it still leaks. And we are like, why is this leaking? Um, we have, we thought we found the source the second time. And then not long after that, it started leaking again. And it was like, okay. And that's when I said, okay, enough is enough. There's something wrong with the roof that they put on. Um, cause it had always leaked and we should have called them and made them come back, but my husband didn't want to do that. So, uh, I said, let's call the Amish and see if we can get a metal roof put on, see what they think. So I, I met the guy and I said, you know, here's the problem. I said, this back room leaks all the time and we're tired of it leaking you know, would a metal roof solve this problem? If we, and he was like, I guarantee you, I put a metal roof on this house. You will have no leaks whatsoever. I'm like, okay. So I was like, well, what's it going to cost to do the house and the garage? Well, it was like $9,000. So we did it because I was just tired of our room leaking. So lo and behold, it has not leaked since. So that was a really good decision we made a couple, two years ago. I think two years ago right now right now in the fall, I think. Yeah. So, but that put my siding on hold again. <laughs> so for two years, I've been saving up to get this darn siding and it's really been helping me working because, um, uh, I've been able to save a lot more quicker because I'm working. So that's who called me on Friday and he's like, Hey, I got time. I just want to know if you guys were still interested in doing the siding. Cause I called him in the spring to give us an estimate. And he didn't. It'd be $13,000 to do the house and the garage. So I said to my husband, what do you think? <laughs> Our problem is we don't know if Roman, like with the status of our church and our program, we don't know if next year we'll get any money for Roman for school. And it'd be his senior year. Now, once he gets his scholarships and money off, it's down to about $7,000 that needs paid. Now our church will cover up to 7,000, but if they don't next year, if we, if things fall apart, like they might, um, we might not get any money, but I, but we have been, we've also had a savings for his schooling because you just never know, you know? So we do have, so we have 
we're okay there. So that was the main thing. We I want to make sure we had enough money saved that come his senior year, um, if if the program falls apart and church whatever, that we'd be able to pay his tuition, you know, and not take a loan or anything like that. So we've accomplished that. So we have that. So I said, well, what do you think? So um, my husband's like, okay. So he called. He called the guy. So tomorrow he's supposed to come over because my husband wants the windows, like the framing of the windows done and stuff. So I want a country blue. If I could find, um, if I could find a color that looks like it, I would show you. But I, I want it to be a country blue. So not navy, not light blue, almost like a bluish gray. I don't really have anything in here that look that is that color. I've seen a few houses around town with it and I just love it. I think it'll be, it'll go, I think it'll go really nice with our light gray roof. And then, um, so he's supposed to come tomorrow. So I'm hoping and praying we can do this. Um, I'll be so excited. Our, our siding is getting so bad. I mean, you, if you rub up against it, you turn white. It's like so powdery. And then like the front is getting like, um, like not, I guess mossy. It's getting like green. Like we have to, and we pressure wash the house every year, um, usually in the fall. And so it would need pressure wash to get it off. But, um, it's, it, but it's starting, like the siding starting to fade. Like there's starting to be not white anymore. It's starting to go to the point of being like silver, the underneath the aluminum. And so, I said to Ray, if our house looks so, I love our house on the inside. I think my house is beautiful. It's homey. It's cozy. It's my, it's my haven. I love it. I'm like, I just want the outside to look as nice as the inside. <laughs> so, um, I, so, and then we want new shutters obviously too. So, uh, <clears throat> so he's supposed to come tomorrow at five and, um, go over everything with Ray. Uh, cause I said, I, I want you to talk to him. I'm, I'm, I don't know, you know, things you need to talk to him. So, um, and then it could be starting as much as soon as like next week or so. Um, so I'm like, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I will be so excited if we get our house done. It's been a dream of mine. <laughs> And I said to Ray, it's our 25th wedding anniversary. I did want to, I did want an anniversary band, but I'm like, if we get our house done, I'll be happy with that. So I'll be really excited about that. <sighs> so that's other exciting news. Um, and then the other thing, so, you know, on my husband's side, <clears throat> our niece got engaged and our nephew just got engaged. So I bought the girls. So my niece is a purple lover. So I got her this. And then my <clears throat> soon to be niece is a pink lover. So I got her this. These are binders. And inside is, uh, you know, some stuff. And then some, these are, uh, I put them in there and they're real tight. Budget pages. So what I'm doing for them, I just thought this would be fun to do. I'm going to get nice pens and put them in because each of them has a pen holder. And then they each come with these envelopes, okay? And they're zipper envelopes. So they zip open and zip closed. And, and then you stick them in the binder. There's their are holes and stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because this is how I save money, is I, I do the envelope system. So I have an envelope marked, you know, siding, school, um, I have a whole bunch. I have a ton of envelopes marked different things. Um, like Roman's insurance, his life insurance. Um, mine and Ray's life insurance has paid off. Um, I have different, I have a whole bunch of envelopes, just different things like, you know, outside I have, um, like plants. I'm already saving for next year's summer plants to buy, um, I have like a Christmas envelope with gifts, um, decor, food, um, and then I have a holidays envelope with like Thanksgiving, Halloween, Easter, um, 
you know, you get the gist. I, I budget and save. So what I do is that's when I, 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 and I mostly just put like $5 in at a time when I have it. Like, so I have my money from the club and stuff and I'll come home and I'll fill my envelopes. And then what I do is that money then goes to the bank and then I put like prop bills in here. So it's, it's fake money, but I know in the category Christmas, I have $500 for gifts saved, you know, it, but it's in the bank. I don't keep the money here because that would be silly to have all that money in my home. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I think I have eight envelopes for each, but I do have extra of these if, if I figure anything else out, but I'm going to make wedding budget binders for the girls. So like one is going to say, like, I'm going to crick it on here, like rings. And then I have, I think I have the categories. I, I won't remember them all, but I have rings. I have bachelor, bachelor and bachelorette parties. I don't know if any, if they're doing them or not, but if they want to do them, you know, they can save, um, accessories, beauty outfits. Like if the guys are getting suits or tuxes or whatever, dress for the girls, dresses, honeymoon. And there's one more cause I have eight. Maybe decor. Yeah. So I, and then if I think of any more, I'll do them up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these envelopes up. I'm going to crick it on there. And then I'm going to fill each one with $5. And I'm going to give it to them as a start. Because not they're not getting married until 2026. So they have a while. So I thought that would be kind of a fun little gift to give. So that they can start saving. Now, I'm sure her parents are paying for the wedding. And I know my... Um, brother and sister-in-law are probably paying for my niece's wedding. However, there are things they'll need to buy themselves, like their rings and, you know, stuff like that. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do. Like I didn't put, I didn't put like venue or anything like that. Cause I figured that's what I'm sure the parents are going to pay for all that stuff. But, and then if there's anything else they think of, they want, I could tell them, just let me know if you need any other envelopes, I'll make them up for you. But I thought that'd be kind of a fun gift to do and then put five bucks in each envelope to give them a little starter for their wedding. So I just thought that'd be fun. I can't wait to do those. So I want to do those and give them to them and surprise them with those. Um, so we have that going. Um, and then the only other thing I have going is I'm going to start my, my fall cleaning. And so I can fall decorate. I did put some stuff out. I went to Hobby Lobby last week. That is so dangerous, <laughs> but I did put some in my fall. I, I got, um, so for the first time ever, I bought the, that potpourri that they have. Um, and it's real cute. There's like little pumpkins in it and there's like pieces of wood and there's pine cones and, and it smelled really good for about a day and now it doesn't even smell, but I put it in little baskets and I decorate the baskets so they look cute. Um, so I did that. And then I put, I got some fake flowers. I'm not usually a fake flower person, but I have been lately for certain things. And I found some really pretty ones out for fall. So I did a little, my vase, I took my tulips out and I put fall flowers. And it looks really pretty. So um, I did that. So I do have a little fall. My husband's like, oh, I'm surprised the fall stuff is not. I'm usually one that does not decorate till fall actually happens. And I said, nope, it's not, I'm not putting fall stuff out until I clean, clean. He's like, oh, okay. So I need to get my cleaning going. Um, and that I'll get there. That'll happen probably next week. Cause this week's kind of choppy with going to Pittsburgh yesterday. And then I work today, take my mom to the therapy tomorrow. And then I'm work, I work every Friday and Tuesdays now. And then this weekend I have to work a lot. I work Friday night. I've, I'm going to start off working, doing the bowlers and then I'm going to turn around and call bingo at eight o'clock. And then, um, Saturday they have trivia. So I'm cooking for that. And then, um, Sunday is bingo and I'm cooking for that. So I have a busy weekend and, um, so I'm going to get that done. And then, um, but then I'm hoping I'm praying things calm down. So, uh, the good thing is Friday and Saturday are both just in the evening. So I have like all day Saturday. I don't have to get down there till about six. So I have all day Saturday, you know, to do stuff. And then Sunday is just bingo. I'll have to get there probably by 1030. Um, but as soon as intermission's done and 
uh, I'm done serving, I'm, I'll leave, I'll be done. So it won't be that long. Um, but it's extra money going towards my siding. And the other good news is our car is paid off. Woohoo! That is paid off. We, um, we are done paying for our car. So that, that'll help with the savings as well. So, um, so I think that is it for today. Um, I'll put some pictures in from our, our fun party over the weekend. And, um, I got to do the no tag yet for today. And, uh, that's about it. So I will see you all in my next video, which might be tomorrow for a full day of eating. Um, cause I like doing those and I do, uh, I do well when I do those. And even though I didn't do the many last week, I still did well and I still accounted for everything. So, um, but that is it. So have a good rest of your Tuesday. I'll be back for a Tuesday tag. That'll probably end up posting before this will because this will take forever to post. Um, but then I'll be back tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be back. I'll, I don't know if I'll get on a schedule schedule, but I would like to do. Um, I would like to get more full days of eating going. So I will see you all later. They're coming in this store? Yeah. yeah.